everyone, Eleanor here and welcome to the Hobby King Weekly Wrap. In this episode, we'll go through new items, announce the winner of the weekly competition and see what is happening in the RC community. Let's go! First up, we have the new items of the week. We had a 2.5 meter E-Tomcat X-Tail Electric Glider, two additions to the Turner Graphene Panther 75C range, a 450mm 3S and a 450mm 4S and a range of spare parts for those of you who purchased a 2400mm H-King NE1 Navy Cub a couple of weeks ago. It's a replacement fuselage set, horizontal stabilizer and rudder set, a left and right wing set, cowling, an undercarriage fairing set, and a replacement windshield and window set. Weekly competition time. Please don't use that one. <laughs> We are currently running Crash Cash, but all you have to do is send us a photo or video of something RC that you have crashed. This week's highlights were Tor from Norway, whose jet met a disastrous end when its ESC died. Daniel from New Zealand, who went for a goal but missed. Ouch. Jerry from Netherlands, who was left with nothing but pieces. And our winner was Peter from South Africa, who lost an aileron pushrod and then the whole plane. Congratulations, Peter, and $50 is on its way to you. To enter, share your pictures or video via social with the hashtag CrashCash. Or enter via the Hobby King website entry page, links are below. If you don't win but your entry does appear in the weekly wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. Okay, community projects, let's take a trip around the world and see what is happening in the RC community. Mundo Drone from Brazil released a video featuring drone chase footage of motocross rider Gian Bergamini. Great stuff there from both rider and drone pilot. Rachel from the UK took a Hobby King Swamp Dog down to a local river for a test run. Also out with their Swamp Dog, though slightly modified, was Eagle Hammeter 1, who gave his a Red Bull colour scheme and also mounted a micro cam to capture some onboard action. He not only took it out for a run on the water, but also a patch of long grass. Looks like so much fun. Michael from the US installed a D-ring to his Abios Grand Tundra and took up a banner that said, I love Hobby King. Thanks for the love, Michael, and good luck with the glider that you plan to take up next. Speaking of gliders, Matt from the UK, who's part of the Liverpool and District Model Aircraft Society, LADMUS, has been taking gliders up with his Avios Bushmill with the help of a conversion canopy designed by Steve Holland. Well done, Matt and co. Pascal from Canada 3D printed a Dodge Daytona 110 scale RC car body and attached it to a TC3 chassis. It looks amazing, and I love how you included footage of you out on the road, losing a wheel, and also a nut. <laughs> Drone Nation from the UK took a trip to the woods and set up course for some drone racing practice. Great flying there, Drone Nation, and there are so many trees to potentially collide with, so I commend you. And Joe from the US finally finished building his SIG Super Chipmunk, taking it for a successful maiden flight. It's taken Joe six months to build, and the inspiration behind it was that his father originally owned one. He loved it, so he was determined to build another for him. Being a kit from the 1970s meant it was extremely difficult to find, but Joe managed to find a couple partial kits to combine into a full one. If you're interested in how it all came together, check out the YouTube channel Joe's RC Corner, link is in the description below. To contribute, visit the Hobby King community page on Facebook or email us at weeklywrap at hobbyking.com. Or simply tag your pictures or video on social with the hashtag HKWeeklyWrap and we will find it. Remember, if you happen to feature anywhere on the Weekly Wrap, you'll be rewarded with $10 in store credit. So that concludes this weekly wrap. If you're enjoying the show, please give it a like, share with your friends, and comment down below to show your support. I will see you next week. Bye.